This is where it gets good, boys. Nice. All right, first, I usually have to start by saying, welcome to Bubble Man's World. Uh, we're back here at Merlin's, cooking with Merlin, and I brought another good buddy that you guys may recognize from some of the Whistler riding videos. Pat Tay is in the house. Welcome both of you guys. What Thanks, up? buddy, what up? Yeah, uh, Patty and I just spent the day with our families up in Squamish picking more mushrooms at the same place that Merlin and I were at last week. So we brought some of those mushrooms, but uh, I guess what we're going to do is have a couple of beers and have a couple of puffs, and then these guys are going to prepare another meal. What, 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 was, what was the meal preparation today? The meal today, we're going to do some uh, banh mi sandwiches, uh, banh mi sandwiches, vegetarian style, just for yourself, my friend. Okay. And uh, with some coleslaw, pretty good. Whew, yeah. Sounds good. And a couple of joints during. Excellent. <laughs> I think it's probably a good idea. Did you bring, you didn't bring your herb? I did. Oh, you nice. did? I did. I didn't know what to, well, you wanted to press some, but uh, I didn't really have time, so. Well, we can little do a mini squish. Thing. I got a, one of those mini. Yeah, what a little mini. flat iron? Yeah. Nice. No, no, I got a real mini one. I'll show oh, a real mini one. Yeah. A real mini one. Okay. Let's see if this works here. Let's see if I can grab Trying this little uh, hash one hitter. Let's see how it works. I've been burnt for a long time. Good squish with this little mini thing I have here. Mmm, that was melty hash. Actually melted and bubbled a little bit. Oh, you do have a little press. Well, yeah. for sure you got a press. <laughs> there you go. That's amazing. <laughs> Put that thing on the table, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like just a joint at a time. Look at this thing. It's <laughs> <That's> so awesome. <laughs> Rosin ball. <laughs> Does it work okay? Yeah, it sounds awful. For what? For, for what? what? Is, right? Get a joint or two? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I'll see if I can find the bag. I thought you were going to pull out a flat iron. I'm not lying. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for a hair crimper. It pulls it, you know what I mean? Like that thing, but the flat version. That's actually pretty impressive. Just hash. It's quite lovely. I'm always looking for new ways to ingest and consume hash. Right? Hey, why not? <laughs> Do yeah. I not? Do I not always have something? Yeah, you, you always got something you need, something that's going on. One way to get it in there. Well, today I forgot my rig, so I forgot my entire packed up all my dabs, my my the entire thing, torch, temp tech, pipe, everything. Uh, and so what I did find was a couple of these one hitters, and I thought, well, shit, that's probably enough to sit uh, back with the boys and uh, have a couple of pops. Looks like looks like Merle already rolled a nice dube. Can on. A little can on, exactly. Brixton's raging around with the, uh, with the more. lamb. Yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday here in British Columbia. Why don't I give you guys a little, little show of the view real quick here. There we go. It's beautiful Lions Bay, BC. That Japanese maple is red out there. And it actually stopped raining. I can't believe it stopped raining. Dude, how about Shannon Falls? Dude, I said to Shar, I don't think I've ever seen Shannon Falls raging that wow. hard. Wow, she looked angry. Yeah, for those of you that are in and around the Vancouver area, Shannon Falls is absolutely going off right now. That would be a uh, not a bad place to go in the next few days. I wouldn't climb up and go anywhere near the actual waterfall, but I would enjoy it from under, you know, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. shower at the bottom from a distance. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the summer I go in it when it's like dribbling, but the way it is right now, you wouldn't want to go in there. Two I mean, summers ago, didn't some guys fall off? Yeah, some uh, some YouTubers. They were yeah. going up there into the top pools. Yeah, and I guess that. the girl. I think it was the girl lost control and you know, was sliding over and then the guy went to, to jump and grab her and he, he went over too. It was really a nightmare. Yeah. Everyone's trying to get those views. That's some stellar views for exactly <laughs> seconds. That's insane. Yeah, I don't think you'd be enjoying it's not, it. That's not the way you want to you be. You wouldn't it. be enjoying it though in those last uh, right 30 now, seconds. Sec. 
those last <laughs> 30 this, seconds. Uh, that's uh, some Hindu. Hindu. Some older right. school Hindu right here. Cheers, man. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. I don't actually know where I got that mom from, but... Pretty sativa, yeah? Yeah, it's got a funky nose to it, that's for yeah. sure. You guys have a lot in common in the sense that Patty also just loves to cook and make yeah. food, and he's always yeah, just busting out things with... That's what stoners like to do. Yeah, I sent him, yeah, right? <laughs> I sent him the video, I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, I can hang out with you, buddy, bro. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. People ask me, they're like, do you, do you cook for professionals? Like, no, I just smoke a lot of weed. And like, <laughs> you good good shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got That's it. kind of the way it goes. Yeah, it does indeed. And once you eat really good food, it's hard to go back. True. You know. You know. Nice husky. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I've never noticed that on this pipe before. Yeah. You have a straight, like, milly husky. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Well. When they sold it, they said it was the lone wolf. The lone wolf? Yeah. Here, i got to show it to the camera. <laughs> I was going to say, well, okay. we're good. talking That's about good. it. I probably should show it to you. <laughs> the wolf, the lone wolf. There we go. Should we do some cooking? I'm starving. I think so. Yeah. Why don't uh, let's do it? We clean this up real quick and get to what's important. The cooking. And I'm gonna do it with. Uh, we'll do like a yogurt dill sauce. Yeah. It'll be fucking delicious. With yeah. It. I bet. <laughs> you missed it, guys, but literally, Patty just was saying how he'd never made these types of sandwiches, but he was just like last week Googling the sauce Google for these sandwiches. He's like, why am I not making bon me sandwiches? Like, what? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you saying, Brixton? Why am I buying them? Why don't I just make them? What are you saying, buddy? What are you saying? It's always better to make it at home. Well, it always is, for sure. All right, well, we got some, uh, we got the wild brine. I think we'll start with the tofu. Kimchi. Get some garlic. Here, I'll get you set up too. You want to start cutting up some uh, for, the, for the salon? Cabbage? Yeah. Some cabbage. All right. Oh, it's about to go off in here. Need to prepare some food. Now, is there any? You take which one you want. All right. I would say slice it thin. Yeah, yeah that's what I would do, but you don't, uh, are you particularly going to have this going. way or? Uh, okay. Will I use a mandolin? No. I'm cutting really? it. I know. I don't. <laughs> They're deadly bad. Yeah. Dude. Dude. On camera. Well, usually I'd, I'd quarter it. Yeah. And, and then, then just start just, slicing from there. Right? And then go like this. Yeah. And then just watch. Wow. And then you can kind of cover. All right. Gotcha. Just quarter it. Like bit, of, bit of both, eh? Yeah, exactly. Do be hanging out of the mouth. That's how I like to cook. <laughs> and last time I kind of held back and didn't have a joint in my mouth the whole time, but it's like much I always cook. Oh, there you go, beer in your hand, <laughs> smoke in the mouth. You look like a real Quebecois. <laughs> That's the way we do. Big as one man. This one. <laughs> what do you got, ginger? Yeah, some good ginger. Oh Organic yeah. Ginger. Yeah. Actually, with you know, the it's a good trick with this. Done it, yeah, a spoon? A spoon is the best. Yeah, a spoon is, kills it on instead of the knife, right? That's just interesting. A little trick, eh? Yeah, instead of like tearing into the ginger with a knife and losing a whole bunch. Yeah, you're not losing any. No, it just really takes the skin right off. That's awesome. These two guys are going for it. Brush up some garlic after he cuts up the ginger. You just slice the ginger into fairly big chunks. Yeah, we're gonna grind it into the blender anyway. Mm. So much easier to put to build sauces in these. You just got the slippity slow. Ready to go, ready to go. Ginger and garlic in there. Ah, okay, you got the bullet. A little bit of onion, yeah, the bullet is key. Put some lemon in there. Damn, just right there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
<laughs> He's like, we'll put some lemon in there, opens this cupboard, pulls out a handheld lemon juicer. <laughs> He's like two inches away from his hip. <laughs> I'm not my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little soy sauce. A little ponzu. Oh, yeah. Lemon ponzu. Get some ponzu. A little ponzu. That's the goods. A little bit of sesame oil. Some oil. Sriracha. Ooh, sriracha. And the old mirin. And to be Canadian, we'll put some maple syrup. Oh yeah, a little maple syrup. Mm -hmm. To be Canadian. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. You know what, actually? I think I'm going to go by the wow and put a little bit of tahini in. A little tahini? Yeah. Just a, a multi-diet kind of, you know? Okay. Just a little tahini. Didn't see that one coming. There it is. Boom. This emulsifier. This is looking, looking sweet. Yeah, it's making a mess, you know? Fractal coated. A vicious racket with its arms around your children. <laughs> the truth about marijuana. Degradation, sin, vice, insanity, debauchery, the smoke of hell. So for those of you that are wondering where that came from, it came from here, Reaver Madness. Yeah, you can thank uh, like uh, William Randolph Hearst and those assholes. I think they're still responsible. I'm gonna bolt that up a little bit. A little relax. Oh shit. I mean I can, but I'm, I don't want to. <laughs> oh yeah, the fruits of the small fruits of our labor. This was a big chanterelle. For a yellow foot. You know what? Maybe for yourself, this will be easier. Yeah, a little bigger, right? Beautiful. And I'm telling you, there was a lot of chanterelles out there today. Yeah. Yeah, these yellowfoots are the winter chanterelles. That's what they call them, yellowfoots. Yeah. Yeah, once you hit a patch. Do they come all year? Uh, until sucks. like December, January, I think. We'll see. Let's keep, let's try picking them all year. Yeah, seriously. Make a new meal every week for like three months. I'll slice up our tofu. Okay, a little tofu. Squeeze that water out. I used to always think it was some sort of solution, but it's literally just water. Yeah. <laughs> special, I, special I tofu. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are they putting in there to make yeah. it better? It's like, oh, it's water. It's like that's the tofu solution. <laughs> you don't know about that? The tofu solution? In a sense, it is a solution, because without it, it'll dry out. Yeah, I guess you're right. Just not the solution you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double entendre. Yeah, soy. So tasty. Probably not the best for you, but... What's that? Soy is probably not the best for you, but it tastes delicious. Well, we're going to eat some today. Yes, sir. Ooh, so it's going in, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, schnapples. That's how you do it right there. It's got that nice creaminess from the tahini, mm -hmm. too. Instantaneously appetizing. Yeah, definitely. That's the beauty of tofu. It tastes whatever you want. Right. It's really like a nice base element. Yeah. A nice big salad from Patty. Okay, we'll let that marinate. Soften up with a bit of lemon juice. As you're tossing that salad, is anyone else here thinking about that joke? Or am I the only five-year-old in the room? Tossing the salad joke? Yeah, like the minute he started doing that, did it come to your minds? Because I'm, I'm like a five-year-old. I'm like... As soon as you said it. We are filming, so... I heard you chuckle. 
<laughs> but I just don't think you thought of it before I said it. No, it's so I'm more twisted than you. Okay. As soon as you said thoughts in the cell, they immediately went there. <laughs> we're not in prison, boys. We're no, making... we're not. <laughs> not yeah. We don't have to be anymore. Cannabis is legal. <laughs> As of today, isn't it? Actually yeah, today's the anniversary. anniversary October seventeenth. Oh yeah, today. Yeah, today's today the anniversary of legalization. There you go. Oh well, man. Yeah. Cheers to that. Exactly. When guys like us went from the back rooms to the front. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give a thumbs up on that. <laughs> from the back to the front. Right. All right. <laughs> I'm out again. Uh, you want me to shred this too? Yeah, please. You can shave it and shred it. Okay. Sweet. Shave it and shred it. Where my speed up, man? Let's do any nervous tension. Kimchi. Kimchi. Probiotic, man. Raw, gluten free, vegans. Wow. They got all the popular terms for selling food these days. Totally. I think kimchi is <laughs> one of those like, hit items now, right? It's always just been super healthy and awesome. It's like it's like uh, kale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're doing kale they're doing kale dirty. Next time we should go pick kale at my buddy's garden. He's got a monster fucking yeah. dinosaur kale. Let's do it. And I got the best enchilada recipe. Oh, let's do it. And I want to go get those evergreen uh, huckleberries as well. Yeah, that's a good and one. then do something with those. The foraging. Yeah, let's just expand our ability to forage and find as many things as we can and then make cool things out of the things we find. I like it. It's awesome. Sea asparagus would be a cool one too. I was just thinking the sea grapes. Yeah. The sea grapes, are the, yeah, the sea asparagus would kill us too. <laughs> it would look cool too, right? Yeah, it would. There is a, a few broccoli and radish uh, things there too if you want. Oh, right. Yeah, we're going to definitely put those on. Right. I'll bring, I'll bring them over. In. Yeah, you can just take a, a bowl. Sure. You wanna, oh, I guess we should put some carrot in there, too. Maybe we should grate another one, because we want some for the sandwiches, too. Okay. I like the idea of putting it in the, in the coleslaw, though. Yeah. It'll brighten it up a bit, eh, with the orange. Yeah. yeah. And I have some fresh cilantro growing downstairs. Well, yeah, we'll grab. I usually do, like, co uh, Cabbage, carrot, cilantro, I do garlic and mayo. Yeah. A little bit of mustard, vinegar, and salt. But mm. Down, do it up. Something like that. That's kind of... Yogurt for the dill sauce. Yogurt for the dill sauce. What's that? What's that? Mango flavored? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you imagine just pouring in this super fruity yogurt? This is going to be delicious. <laughs> I think not, as he puts in a bunch of fruit, citrus. you got to put citrus juice. juice. For the dill sauce. Oh shit, I'm going to put my secret ingredient in here too. Oh yeah, we can turn the camera on. <laughs> it's nice to have secrets. <laughs> not much of a secret, it's just hard to find. It's, uh, Straight from where? From Germany. It's, it's like Ooh, a soup concentrate. Klaus and <laughs> And sauces and everything. It gives like the what is it? It's what like is vegetable it? salt almost. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's delicious. Taste it. Mm. It's like good in well, everything. everything. It makes everything Yeah, yeah I bet. <laughs> It's kind of like a... Uh, it's just 98% MSG. Definitely not. <laughs> it's it's polar, I'm joking. Fully organic. No, no, I know. But could you imagine? <laughs> Someone's like, I know the this stuff that he put like, in there. They have like a, look, they have these two. They're, you would love these, Marcus, actually. They're, they're vegetarian. This one's a mushroom one as well. You can only get them once a year in Germany from this company. You have to pre-order it. Champignon pastet. And these pâtés are just absolutely delicious. Try this. It looks like cat food. Wow. <laughs> but... Let's try it. It's you'll you'll see. I'll give it a shot. Carrots are going in. Hey, bud. Thanks. Hey, you want to try? Oh, sure. Cheers. Once a year, I'll get my grandmother to send me. Oh my goodness! From Germany, is that delicious or what? Wow, <laughs> that's rich. Like all vegetables, all organic, small drops from this like organic company in Germany. It's nice. Mm -hmm. it's almost got like a smoky flavor. Yeah. That's the mushrooms. It's uh, Steintel. So uh, Steintel to be King King mushroom, King Bolita, I think. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. These are King Bolets. <laughs> we saw some beautiful bullets in the uh, in the forest today. 
Man, we saw some. Did you guys get any there. good ones? They were like pick, pick them? Yeah. I could have. I, I left them. Yeah. 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 I didn't uh, have any way to really prepare it. Here, I'll show a picture of it right now. I didn't Check take it. Any. I was kind wow. It's a nice one. It's nice, right? Those are good fried. It was three and a half feet tall. Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just the way I shot it, though. Cutting so up more if garlic? You, if you would have had Tosh and then me and then the mushroom in front. Oh my god. It looked like it was three and a half feet tall. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I got a present for your kid after. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. My kids love presents. <laughs> it's a bunch of toys, so I have to be not like it, right? Ooh. <laughs> um, what's next here? We gotta put the dill in here. Which is... He's tossing his salad He's again. Tossing his salad. <laughs> Would you like to toss your salad? Want some German salad tossing? I already put lemon in there. If you want to do uh, the dressing that you said before, that'd be great. That okay, looks sure. really nice. That looks like fall now. Yeah. Like yeah These guys are crushing it over here. You got bay dill over here? Oh, yeah. This is for the, uh... This is for the dill sauce for the banh mi. Booyaka. Man, this is what's up, guys. A little bit of pepper. Of preparation so far, not bad. Not too bad, we'll do it fast. I think this could use some thickening. Yogurt? I think we're gonna put a bit of mayo on there. A bit of mayo? Yeah. I'll thicken it up. This guy over here is like crushing the garlic. Crushing! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Salt just drives it out. So, get into here, huh? Oh my gosh, we'll need a good toss now. Okay, toss <laughs> away. A <laughs> saddle need a good toss. Toss away. Thickening over here, tossing over here. Um, spoons? Ah, uh, right there. Ooh, man, does that smell good? A lot of nice flavors in the air. Preparation. Cilantro. And the cilantro. We'll grab the cilantro in a second. It's downstairs. Right. We'll do the tofu right now. Tofu's going in. Tofu going in. We'll go this way after some quick uh, salad tossing. I wanted to see that get all homogenized. Oh, that looks delicious. It sure does. And then we'll come over here for Mr. Joint Smoking Tofu Cooker. <laughs> <laughs> You got the oil just like preheated over here. I already know it. Damn! Great seed oil for a high heat. Oh, what kind of heat are we looking at? Yeah, about pretty hot, I don't know. Uh, four, Me medium high, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then this will all get marinated right in. You gotta be kidding me. There's a lot of sauce now, but it'll all absorb into it. It looks amazing. We need to bring a small plate home for our wives. Gotcha. We can do that. <laughs> this was requested. <laughs> it was requested. It was requested. That, How did Char like the, the noodles last She time. loved it. Nice. Yeah, she thought they were great. What's that, Patty? I thought that's what the video was for. We'll <laughs> bring home the video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here you go. We brought it was the... so good. This is what we had. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is what you have, sir. Divorce. <laughs> Divorce. No, I always think of my woman. I love her so much. I, last time I brought her food home for sure. 
thinks of me the same way, so it's reciprocal. It's mutual. Yeah, it's nice. 32 years I've been with my, uh, my beautiful wife. Wow. I know. How many years? 32. Wow. Yeah. Married yeah. for like 26. That's impressive. Yeah. Can't buy that at Walmart. Nope. No, sir. Cut these ready. There we go. These are ready to go. I think we should butter them. This is the buns. Butter the buns. Butter your buns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to be commenting on this video. Yeah. yeah. Get a little carried away. <laughs> Not for children. <laughs> you know what? I if I can't film a video of hanging out with my buddies and shooting the shit and puffing dupes <laughs> while you guys have a beer. And make a video, then I, I don't want to live in that world if I can't do that. That's true. Who does? I That's not to, a fun world. No. We need to be able to... <laughs> have fun. We need to be able to live. It's actually very chill. Yeah. Super chill. That's how it's got to be. This is just looking good. Yeah, that's looking good. So that's what I love about tofu too, like all that stuff sucks right in Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. As the water disappears, the tofu grows. Mm -hmm. A little butter in there. Ah, a little butter and the meat warmed. 25 seconds, let's preheat this thing. 400. So I just noticed that this stuff is basically the same color as my sweater. He made a sauce to match my sweater. Huh. How cool is that? Matches. Shout out to SETI for the um, psychedelic research hoodie. Giving them the turn. They're just like perfectly French toasted. Yeah, they do like their French toast. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> Little French toasts. But if you told someone this was French toast and then put syrup on it, they'd be surprised. You just tell them, no, no the syrup's already in there. It's already there. No, you can put the syrup in there. Infused, like McDonald's in the griddle. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but they had like yeah, a wicked. Yeah, well, is that what it was? I don't know. It was, I don't know. Uh, put your butter in the buns. And so we're doing this. Why? Just so that it crisps up and gets nice and golden brown when we put oh, it in the oven. Okay, that's the key, right? Yeah. We'll we'll remember these. Butter makes everything better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I go through a ridiculous amount of butter on a weekly. I bet you do. Putting it on the inside, the outside. You're like, I'll be boiling these <laughs> in butter and frying them in butter. We could poach the tofu in butter next time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> awesome. That's what you want on the bunny though, right? The nice crisp exactly. crunch when you're biting into it. Totally. Booyah. Boom. Boom. Oh shit! This is just ridiculous at this point. It smells so good. It really does. It's a nice tofu meal. You can't mess around with good tofu. There's definitely a lot of bad tofu out there. Yeah. I, I, I find fur, I don't really like soft tofu as much. I like firm tofu. Yeah. yeah. Soft tofu is really weird, actually. It just like, kind of falls, It's like yeah. pudding in it. It's like solid pudding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Hard to get that stuff crispy. It just kind of turns into scrambled run the egg in the... I feel like I need my beverage. Because these guys are sipping their beverage. And <clears throat> although they're drinking beers, I am drinking water. In a square Even bowl. though it looks like it's vodka. <laughs> this was vodka, Just and I did me. this. <laughs> That's the, uh, isn't that the Trailer Park Boys trick with the, the, the dad? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Mr. Right? Yeah, right. Mr. Lady, that was a lot of vodka. <laughs> that was a lot of not vodka. <laughs> Feel the way that shit clings to the air, right? Yeah. Oh, the Trailer Park Boys. 
<laughs> R.I.P. Mr. Leahy. Yeah. I met him once. I met him with... Uh, who was he with? He was with... Randy, of course. Oh. In, in Whistler? No, it was in Vancouver at a at a at a like health event. At a they, health event. Yeah, they were. Randy was walking around without his shirt, and he was like, he's like, Mr. Lee, I really need a cheeseburger, and that's what I heard. And I was like, what the heck? And then I found out later it was my friend Mark who actually had brought them. He was he had some cannabis cup that he was doing, and he brought, you know, he brought Snoop Dogg one year, and he brought he brought Charlie Murphy one year. Nice. Yeah, Charlie Murphy came and did a comedy show. He was like, come see Charlie Murphy, come see Charlie Murphy. I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. He's like, if you can get here for like 11.30, I got a surprise for you. So I get there, me and Char end up going down. It's like on Hastings. It's like the bamboo mm -hmm. room or something. And we're in the back little green room or whatever, and we're sitting at a table. And I hear everyone clapping. We're, in, we're backstage. And, and then he comes out with his bodyguard, Charlie Murphy with his bodyguard, no and way. sits at our table and for the next hour and a half, we proceed to tell like true life Charlie Murphy stories. No way. And I got to tell him some of my own crazy life stories. <laughs> it was that the is, greatest experience, that is dude. Unbelievable. I got to shout out Mark for that because that was, uh, it really was unbelievable. Look at that, all the Rest sauce. in peace to Charlie Murphy as well. Sucked in there. Oh, God, Damn. Pretty much ready. Oh, let's get him on. Sorry, Patty. I know. Just, 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 okay. Me too. This. That's some good tongan you got there. There you go, buddy. Tongue ninja. Little grilled ginger for the side. Yeah, little grilled ginger for the side. Can't say no to that. Buns in the oven. Put that for my yeah, it's just buttered from yesterday yesterday. for his finishing. What's that? That was from the marathon that oh, he did nice. yesterday. He came nice. in 10th place. Jesus. It feels sweaty. <laughs> when he touches the, the... You guys want to hear the funniest part of the whole thing? Uh, of course. He finishes a 50k marathon in the rain, like dying. Finishes the race like, yay! I lost my car keys. Oh! <laughs> so he lost them in the bathroom. So he had to walk home? Has to, he calls me panicked. He's like, oh, what do I do? Lost them in the bathroom, apparently. Somehow speaks to someone from the town. They find his keys. He tells me, he's like, you know, I got to tell you, wrong. He's like... Finding my keys felt better than winning the 50 <laughs> <laughs> That is fucking awesome. Imagine you're soaking wet. Oh, you just finished 50K. No, you can't was... get in your car. Like, yeah, you can barely stand. That is that just point. a brutal. Just a kick in the neck. So you've uh, heated this oven up already till yeah, about 350 or something? Yeah. 375 there. 375. A few minutes. And All right. Then... I'm trying to think of what else we need here. It's getting it's pretty simple. We'll left over. We have the carrots, the tofu. Where are we putting this? Down on the table over there or something? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here, maybe we should make the table and get some Set of this the over there. Up. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Nah, you want to grab the forks and like that. Some shit's gotta be convenient. Yeah, that's starting to look good. I got three minutes on this battery, so I'm gonna put the other one in. Extra batteries always. So we're back again. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> How's the dog? That's now? awesome. So we're cutting up the avi. Yeah. It's the avocado. And then we're gonna dress everything once he's got it all set up right here. He's got the sauce, the kimchi, Good the idea. cucumber, Good the idea. carrots, the tofu, gingered up, the salad, and a variety of sprouts. What are your sprouts, Patty? Those are broccoli and radish microgreens. Okay. Hey, Pat, you want to chop up those, uh, those, uh, tomatoes you brought? Sure. Great. Oh, yeah. Take a little hit of hash here yeah, while sure. we're in the intermediate. There we go, a little, uh... You want them for the side? You want them diced? How do you... I think we should put them in the sandwich. Why not? Okay. So small pieces or big pieces? Yeah, slices is good. Slices, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the equator? No, <laughs> that's awesome. Let me tell you, dude. Always like this, and I'm like, man... You just, just, you just, I love you, but you just fucked the tomato, Watch yourselves, right? Brixton left us a little Oh, yeah, present. sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brixton. He's pulling. 
This guy's from Quebec. You don't have to tell him how to smoke hash. <laughs> He'll figure it out, no matter what it is. With a it could be on a what? fucking pin. It could be in a bottle. It could be on the end Can, of a cigarette. Whatever. It could be literally <laughs> any f- formation or fashion. In Quebec, a traditional fashion of when you learn how to smoke hash is the old hot knife. I can think like 25 years ago when you on the... <laughs> the yeah. yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah. Or the coal. Or the flip knife, right? The double. <laughs> No, let's say two knives on there and you you grab it and then push them together with totally. the toe. Oh yeah, we used to do that. Hot knives. That was classic. We did we did everything as well. That was actually really good hash that I put in there. I won't I won't lie. I believe it. Yeah. That's why it's bubbling and melting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> People are like you can't actually put melty hash in a one hitter. Why not? I'm like, are you sure? Do you remember when I had the ball? With finger hash. Oh yeah. And I brought it up the mountain. Oh yeah. So I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> and then I was being kind of silly, and you know we were feeding the whiskey jacks and everything, and I gave him a little morsel of food on top of the hash ball, and didn't really think about it. And he grabbed it. He grabbed it. He ate it. He flew off. But I just <laughs> I didn't think about it at the time, right? But later on in the day, and I'm like, man. That poor little fucker is either having the best time of his life or he's sleeping it off, hopefully. I don't know. Jesus. I felt kind of shitty about it. The whiskey jacks. They'll take it off you, man. They're the coolest little birds. Don't let them steal your dabs. It was like a quarter pound finger hash ball. Let's put some of this on here so that it doesn't turn brown. Good idea. And now let's assemble these things. Let's assemble them. I'm going to grab those uh, tomatoes. Nuts. Oh, this is looking... Beautiful. I gotta say, it really does. Oh, we're plating now, are we? We are. So now we gotta like be styly. We'll try. It's a bond me, so it's not the, it's not a super styling, but I think it's gonna be. I feel like you've elevated it a little bit between it's, it's the two of you guys. Open. It's gonna be pretty uh, colorful. I'll give it that. That's for sure. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, even just. Just this is over I mean, I, I ate a small bowl of chowder before I came, so I wouldn't be starving the entire time. And I did get like starving when you put the tofu into <laughs> the pan. I, that's when my mouth started watering. Yeah. And now my stomach's actually like, like, Can't okay, guys, like, how long is this gonna take? Oh, like, dude, you've been filming. I had a few friends for dinner last night, and they told me when they see my house, they get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this. This right here. This, this is preparation. Yeah, take a couple of nice shots. I just want to make sure the hole's all in here. Let's start yeah. with a bit of this. Oh, yeah, that's nice green sauce, man. Just suck up on one side. You, still wanna, you don't want to get it too soggy or we'll put it on that. No. And we'll hit the tofu. Serious. I know, I was like, damn, how many? You could put three on there, maybe. Yeah. It's gotta be three. Yeah, three yeah. is a three. I, I'm good with a three. I'm good with three, too. I thought you were just gonna do two. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Oh, what are we gonna do for the. Oh, I gotta. Wash the hands off. Next, we'll hit it with um, some of the carrots. Oh, yeah. He's like, when he says he's putting carrots on your sandwich, <laughs> he's going to put some carrots on your sandwich. I love carrots. Yeah, the carrots, shredded carrots are so good. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of a cucumber. This is going to be a massive sandwich, just so you guys know. It's already massive. <laughs> 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 when you smoke a lot of weed, you think with your eyes, not with your stomach. Right? <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> I think there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get some of this tomato on there. Did you grow these, Patty? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, at the cabin, it's pretty cold, and I had them in the greenhouse, and they took over the greenhouse. And then a lot of them, it froze. 
So they didn't, uh, a lot of them weren't ripening on the plant. Now you got some green tomatoes, that's delicious. Well, I actually took a whole bunch of off and I, and I brown paper bagged them and then they started ripening. Oof. Uh, okay, let's hit some kimchi on here. <laughs> Crushing it, eh? Good luck, good luck at that. I know, he's still got avocados and like, <laughs> dude, I'm just like... We still like, gotta eat it. Dude, we'll don't see. worry about that. Be all right. Well, I don't worry about that, I'm just like... A little bit of kimchi. It looks like ridiculous <laughs> at this point. It's pretty, you'll see with the kimchi, it gives it a, a nice sour, oh, like dude, fermented I love taste. kimchi. He's just dosing it. <laughs> if we're going to do a cooking series, we might as well make some outlandish food. Yeah, like healthy outlandish food. Exactly. It's all vegetarian, good, everything man. we've done so this far. It's good food. Inspiring people. That's how Bubble Man eats. <laughs> I, got, I got inspired last night with the, with the sage. There you go. Oh, yeah. I did it's like so a good. late night pasta, and I'm like, man, I'm doing some brown butter, and some sage in there. Sage butter. After yes. watching the video, or what? <laughs> yeah, well, because I had sage. I had sage on hand. And That's awesome. A little bit of avocado in there. Yeah, just a little bit. There's not a little bit of anything on any of these sandwiches. <laughs> There's only a lot of everything. He starts rocking four tofus on each <laughs> I was like, this fucking guy. Now let's get some of those microgreens in there. Oh my goodness. This is really quite something. These are from your garden too, right? Yeah, I grow this, yep. Got a little microgreens business on nothing, the side. Nothing yeah. tastes better than from the garden, right? Exactly. Now let's hit it with the dill sauce. Yeah, it's gonna go to my friend's place for a quick sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> for a quick sandwich. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's ridiculous. Keep them open so we can put them on the table all nice and sure. You want to keep them open? Yeah, yeah, keep them I open. Gotta, I want to photograph them. Yeah, and in the other light, this is poor light over here. The light coming in from your window will be really nice. Oh, and then the coleslaw. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of coleslaw too. Slaw. There's a giant thing of it. That's what will bring the wife's back. This is there what we go. ate. <laughs> I was thinking. Coleslaw. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not putting it on the sandwich. It's like, well, we gotta have a side. There's one thing that we forgot for this whole thing. What's that? But I have it and I cilantro? will grab it. Yeah. Two seconds. Merle went and grabbed his cilantro. <laughs> Getting it all cilantro y. You have to, um, with a bond me, it's part of it. Oh, yeah. It's all about the, the clash of the, of the fresh herbs with the, with the spice. Yep. Yeah, that tiny little bit, that's what I want. Yeah, you want that one little? Yep, exactly. Like, just rip it up. And there you go. Up. Perfect. All right, let's bring them. Perfect! Absolutely ridiculous. Holy that shit. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful <laughs> thing, Merle. You guys saw it here. We're now going to consume it. It was amazing, dude. Like last time, we'll take our first few bites on uh, camera, and then we're going to turn the camera off because, uh, I mean, holy Christ. There'll be no talking, right? There'll be no talking. It's a good meal if no one's talking. Wow. Dude. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Guys, <laughs> nice, dudes. All right. I don't even, I don't even what you, know how to yeah, say it. Like, what do we do? I think this is the technique. You got to take your yeah. knife. Yeah. Right. Like this. And just close it. Yeah. Just like that, and then you can take your knife and kind of stack it all in like this. My God! <laughs> Look, I got it. Me too. <laughs> the 
kimchi and the ginger. That is an incredible amount of flavor. <laughs> money. That is money. Wow. Another winner, I would say. Maybe, if you're inspired, you could follow along and make your own. Cheers to the fucking Cheers. sub. Mm -hmm. That is so good. <laughs> you're not missing meat with that, eh? Mm -hmm. Everything about it is on point, dude. Ridiculous. Well, cooking with Merlin and Patty. We're signing off, boys. Peace out. Peace.